two years old man present with infected CBC assist cyst itself swollen discharging parts and has something surrounding erythema what is the most appropriate treatment so patient uh, suffering from or uh, bearing a lump which is the cbcs gland and uh, finally it is infected now it is discharging swollen and surrounding erythema what may be the appropriate treatment here the options options are excision of the cyst closure of the defect with the interrupted 30 silk excision of the cyst closure of the defect with subcuticular 40 and uh, undyed nylon incision and drainage with excision of the cystal packing of the defect incision and drainage with the conservation of the cystal with packing of the defect administration of oral co club and definitive surgery once the infected has been cleared so we have the options we have to find out one of the option which will be most appropriate in this patient that means infected cbc cyst and it is a discharging cyst First of all, here we can see this is a typical CBCS infected CBCS cyst. That means it is a infected CBCS cyst. It had no, no discharging, no discharging sinus, but here the erythema present, and it had this whitish whitish. That means they are the pus present inside the cyst. So let's see, see cyst. Or CBCS cyst, the CBCS cyst it arises from the CBCS gland and it contains sebum. It may be present anywhere in our body, but the most common they are present in the scalp that means in the head, ear, back, face, and upper arm. But they are never present palm of the hand and sole of the feet because there is no CBCS gland. And typically contain a punctum about 70% of the case usually present a punctum and in this figure you can see that this is the punctum this one is the punctum the blackish part this blackish part is the punctum excision of the systole need to be complete to prevent recurrence so the systole should be removed completely why because the systole if we left behind this cyst wall there again from the cyst wall there will be secretion occurs and finally there will be development another cbc assist and the cox peculiar tumor it is a separative and ulcerated cbc assist separated and ulcerous cbc assist is known as the cox peculiar and it may be resembles squamous cell carcinoma that means it may mimic squamous cell carcinoma or it's looking like squamous cell carcinoma what is the treatment of the infected CBC cyst? First of all, we have to incision and drainage because the infected CBC cyst there is a pus. So when in our body inside the cavity, outside the cavity, outside of the body or inside of the body, in this case we should go through the incision and drainage. That means where there is a pus, there is incision and drainage. The first option. Then what we have to do? We have to do the removal of the cyst wall. So all these cases of the CBC cyst, we have to remove the cyst wall. Conservation of the cyst wall will invariably lead to recurrence. That means again occur this CBC cyst when we keep the cyst wall. Under no circumstances should an infected wound like to be primary closure. It is also important point. That means in case of infected CBC cyst or infected cyst or in case of any infected area, we should not primarily close. So what we do, we incise and drainage, then wait for secondary closure with regular dressing. Administration of antibiotic without drainage of the sepsis is Futile. That means the administration of antibiotic without incision and drainage, it is completely failed. So here again, we can see the, this is another infected CBC cyst. Here this is the infected CBC cyst. Here this is the punctum and this whitish area, it indicates this is the infected. Again, another picture here, this is the punctum, this is the CBC gland and this area, it is thinning and indicates it is the infected. So what is our option? First of all, it is a CBC assist. So first of all, we what we have to do as it is infected. So what we have to do? We have to do incision and drainage. So 
first option so we have to do incision and drainage of this cyst because it is infected that means pass within this cyst then as it is the sebaceous cyst we also have to excision of the cyst and finally as it is the infected so primary closure not possible so packing the defect with the gauze and regular dressing and we, we wait for secondary healing that means there is no suturing required